The America was just something I always saw on the television and stuff. I thought everything was a movie, innit? I just always thought it was like a promised land. If there's any time in my life that I've wanted this opportunity, it would have been that. I'm gonna step real steady. I'm not like an artist that has to prove myself. I've been going for 10 years, I've proved myself in the battlefield of rap. Some people come into the game and they play the game, so the game's just like happening and they just go into it. I don't wanna do that, like I wanna rattle shit, I wanna like shake shit about. Because that's the only stuff that people are gonna remember, like how you changed the game. <laughs> play America the first time, I was coming to like just basically be like the epitome of Black Street from London. I was just the sound coming out of the speaker to get like a dose of London. Trying to comprehend it all now, you get what I'm saying? To me it's just like a mad dream, but fucking yeah, it's definitely different now. This time it was What we do is as powerful as anything. We stuck to what we believed in. We live it every single day. Do you know what I'm saying? Like it's a feeling. The way we're going on, we've got so much belief in our own self. When people are looking at us from outside, they're like, whoa, like these are mean this, like they live this, they love this. What we say, yeah, they say for the blood. At this point, you know, I'm just turning up to shows not knowing what the fuck's gonna happen. I don't know. And I don't really care either. Like, these songs have got vibes on the stage on their ones, man, like on their own, with just me and Amanda, innit? <laughs> They're saying all my bars, like I might as well be a fucking home, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like I'm comfy, super comfy. Every is that dude, man, 100%, man. And I definitely feel like, the, you know, the three records definitely made an impact on the, you know, on the States. He's a grime artist, but he can easily fit in in the States in the U.S. crowd due to the fact that he speaks very clearly on his records. So, yeah, it's a grime thing, and, you know, most of the records have fast-paced beats, and, you know what I'm saying, the lyrics are usually fast as hell, but people in the U.S. can understand it. Shout out to the UK, man. I get out there and I just soak all of that shit up, man. So I come back to the US and I'm like, oh, bro. And they like, yo, what the hell are you saying, fam? I'm like, what are you saying? Like, you know? 
I'm like, yeah, you don't understand, man. It's a UK thing. You don't, you don't get it. For a moment, I felt like I was in London. Like, we've been on tour with Skepta. He brought us on the first tour. So seeing that just took us back, man. I ain't seen him do a stage show in a minute. And to be that receptive, like, like we're in, like, literally London. Like, like we was in fucking... O2 or some shit, I don't know, it was crazy, mosh pit. That show was better than some London shit. Yeah, that's what it felt like, and it was crazy, man. It's a good moment, man. It was sick to see the energy when Skepta walked out, it was sick. I didn't stand backstage with all the man them, I was like, I wanted to see it, I wanted to see it from where the crowd were. You think, oh, maybe they've come here just to kind of see what all the hype's about. Why is Drake going on about this guy so much? But they knew the lyrics. I think there's always been a purity about what Skepta does. Like, there's a confidence that he has and he represents a lot about where British culture is at. And I think he represents a weird new confidence in Black Britain as well, to be honest. Skepta's been doing this for a long time, you get me? And he has a lot of influence in the UK. Anyone looking overseas will see that. So they have to respect him straight away. Because he's making so much tunes that are vibes right now, you know, people's paying attention. I know I'm going to fuck shit up in the whole of the US when I'm due to. But I'm 18 right now, I'm, I'm getting my mind in check. I, I'm, I'm not scared of it. A lot of people are scared of it, but I think, you know what? Music's music, that's what I'm saying. If it's sick, it's sick. People will feel it. Yo, my name's Skepta, big up Shorty, big up Maximum. Great better know forever. Big up on my time to have the back. It's love and respect, thank you very much, New York. I see. And then after this whole time has finally got its identity. Back in the day, all the UK rappers wanted to sound American. That's natural for anybody around the world to see another culture that really like lives itself and is itself. You just gravitate towards it and be like, yeah, man, I like that, like what you got to say. But they would never have felt that before because they would always got like an impression that we wanted to be them. But now because people like there's fucking been 20 years of like, real London boys, like, you know what I'm saying? Like now, they can see some people actually believe in themselves and actually are themselves. Trust me, daddy. Skepta is just a strong person. Like when people look at him, they believe in him. They believe in what he believes in. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I'm not saying like, oh, you just have to believe people, but like you can feel things in it. And like people feel like, yeah, if this is going to be the person to represent us, lot, yeah, we're, we're we're behind him. You know what I'm saying? I'm excited to go to Washington. Like this is mad. This is crazy for me still. You know what I'm saying? Like because I'm I'm in it sometimes. I can't even see really what you know what I mean. Just on autopilot. But the reaction's been so crazy, like we just keep shaking our head like, no, 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 no. I think there's gonna be a lot more to come. I don't think that I'm at the stage where I need to be rolling up to shows of like security and my manager. I don't even really like that look anyway. I think that just looks shit. And you know, not going through like fire exit doors and shit like that, just going to the front door with my brethren and like doing the show as, as natural as I can. Everything that leads up to you going on the stage is like important. Like I have all the London boys around me just mobbing, man. Right now, we're about to go to the White House. Yeah, with studio still with Obama. <laughs> but he's only half an hour, so we have to get him on time. <laughs> I think he's making a couple beats, isn't it? <laughs> I know what's going on in the hands, you get me? <laughs> I didn't even think I was gonna be like that about it, but then when I actually got there and I looked at it, it just had a mad energy around it, man. I'm looking at that thinking, raw, like people are actually standing in front of it and taking photos of it, bro. It's mad, it's not even a thought in their minds, you get what I'm saying? But to me, it fucks me up a bit because I like, I think about stuff, you get what I'm saying? But I'd rather be a thinker, man, than like a lemon, man. American Grime. <laughs> You're on that. His flow is a lot more similar to hip hop artists that we're into, like Nas or Jay Z. People that aren't gritty. Like, I mean, you'll get some UK grime rappers that, I mean, they'll go so fast you really can't even hear what they're saying. But it's kind of down to our level. I mean, Shutdown's obviously, that's what's crossing over. Anyone on the mainstream here is going to hear that song and they'll, oh, that's grime. Like, I know that. Trust me. Let's all my energy crew in this building right now. I've never been in this.
DC when it shut down. Ross me daddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, man to the beat it when it shut down. That's on me and it shut. Ring, ring, pussy, it shut down. Hey. <laughs> I feel like he's just really relatable and down to earth. He's Nigerian and I'm Nigerian. He's not flashy, you know, he just wears one very simple gold chain. Especially in the US, there's just so many rappers who wear like the huge chains and like rap about how much money they have and blah, blah, blah. But Skepta raps from being from, you know, London and how his life was and just like getting his friends and family like out of the ends and stuff like that. So I feel like that's more relatable than, you know, chains and women in cars. I used to get angry at people who didn't understand it before. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I was really cutthroat with people, like, fuck off, like, move, like, don't fucking ask me for a picture. Like, I'm not the fucking Statue of Liberty, bro. I'm not something that you just take photos with to look cool on your Instagram. You know what I'm saying? But I do try and take time out to people to understand shit a bit. Now, I'm at a point where I looked as an English person at the industry as something, like, so far away from me and so glitzy and glamoury, you get me? But now, the spotlight's on me. You gotta be compassionate, man. Get me? I, this is a, this is crazy, bro. This is crazy, man. Right? Yeah. Blessings, London, yeah, man. And here is Thank you, man. Phenomenal, man. Yeah, man. The beautiful ends when I hear like people just singing your lyrics. Mad, it's isn't touching, it? man. Yeah, it's like mad, feel very proud of yourself. No, man. no. I was saying to him, it's just now it's like a dream, cause like it's yeah. not real. Yeah. Like, it's crazy. Do you mind if I catch your picture? Real of quick? course, you're good. Celebrities that have prospered because they take photos of everybody and stuff like that they make this gap between them and the person, bro. It's the gap of saying, I'm something to take a photo with. You know what I'm saying? But the more that I don't take photos and people see me just walking down the road, they'll say, I'm on, I'll go on a bus, I'll, go, I'll just be everywhere, bro. Like, on my ones, like, I'll just be places. I just stand up and just, like, talk to people. Like, even when I say no to a photo, I'll be like, yo, man, like, what's your name? Like, how are you, man? Like, how's your day going? Like, shit and shit. Like, what's going on? Like, what's happening, bro? Like, you get me? You have to have a real fucking clear vision of who you are. You have to protect yourself, man. See the money on my mind, that's way too much. Way too much. Way too much. See the drink in my cup, that's way too much. Way too much. See the girl on my left, that's way too much. Way too much. Big Fecky and Skepta, what the fuck are they gonna say to us? I don't think there's no point in me even ever going back to another trip club in England, man. Like, you have to get one, throw them. I just got into it, I just zoned out, man, and I was just having fun. Like, if you come from England and you go to one of those places, you'll lose yourself. We haven't got girls like that in our trip club. You know what? Hold this, hold this, hold this, hold this, hold this, hold this. Hey! 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 Our music started in places like this, like, when I get in there, I just feel like, to me, that's just like old blue last. Yeah, I'm just gonna just fuck it up, it's the same shit, you get me? But like, still be the same way I would be like if I was on stage to bear people or whatever. There ain't any trouble away. One, two, three. Thank you. Cool. Thank you. Someone tweeted me yesterday, they were like, yo man, Skepta's a fucking mad performer, like, he shows basically for his cardio session, man. 
artist that's sick to have that release. I'm not like that as a person, I'm just completely different. More reserved, not like a talkative or out there person to other people. I need to have some sort of release in my life where I just say what the fuck I want, do, act out, like stop acting like a, like a madman, saying crazy shit, jumping around. Yeah, and it's like on stage for me, like right? that's, that's a good time for me, man. When I was younger, I used to listen to stuff, but just love it for the sounds. I didn't really understand what they were saying too much, but because I loved it for the sounds, when I grew up, that song stayed with me. And now I listen back to him and be like, oh, Biggie was saying that. That's what he was telling me like to do, or this is what Pac was telling me to do. Like, So if the vibe is what catches them initially, then that's, yeah, man, that's sick. Like, I just want everyone to enjoy it. But at the same time, I understand that I'm not like a conscious, deep rapper, like, you know what I'm saying? But I think I'm like one of those as a person. So. As much as I like to have the hype in it, I always like to put some sort of like teaching in it somewhere down the line. Because you get rappers that have like the conscious side, but there's no vibe in it. The sound, it's giving you in a depressing package, you know what I'm saying? I want to give it to you in like a package to say, yo man, this shit's fucked up. This whole shit's fucked up, but just enjoy yourself, man, because we're all like, you might as well enjoy yourself rather than be depressed for it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's how Boston girls do it. Thank you, big up, definitely big up the Boston ladies. Boston ladies, they're keeping it 100. What up? Boston girls, what's good? You have to pop it, bro. Like, you gotta make it lit. Otherwise, you waste your time. Pop it like you were a stripper. So they came on the bus, it was blessed. Everything was nice, you know what I'm saying? It was chilling, I was smoking, drinking. And then one of them called me Spectre. <laughs> <laughs> and basically, basically, that was a fucking red card. She had to go, go. you know what I'm saying? That was it, it was game, game, <laughs> it was over. game over. So we did some fucking sneak tactics and now they're off the bus and we're back on the bus, you know what I'm saying? Very clean. <laughs> I'm yeah, saying very everybody. relaxed back here. Fucking tour manager hasn't got fucking Google Maps. Google Maps. Tour manager, bro. This is what he gets paid for to walk around with his iPhone out on Google Maps, telling us to where to fucking walk, left and right. <laughs> the vibe in the UK, I think everyone's really confused, or they must be confused, because like, how do you explain to somebody to do what I did? I don't know. Some people always thought, oh, like, Skepta's the guy, innit? Like, Skepta can do it worldwide. Some people always thought that. So now to them it must be so gratifying and they're proud and they, they see what I'm doing and like, yes, like, I knew it. Like, they believe in like what I've been trying to do all this time. So, yeah, it makes them proud, you know. 
I make grime, I'm a grime artist, but like, I don't think the grime scene's gonna get big because of what I do. I think me and my friends are gonna benefit off that, you know what I'm saying? Like, if everyone in grime doesn't work and they don't do what they're doing and they don't do what they're supposed to be doing, then grime's still gonna be whatever it is gonna be with them in it. But it's a good time for like all underground music, man. It's a good time for people who are doing shit from the heart. Most times, you never see those guys. You normally see the other people who've seen it and then manipulated it to make themselves look like they do it. But now, it's like anyone who's doing stuff from the heart and for the love of it, because of the internet, bro, it's just flourishing, man. It's fucking sick. America's got a lasso that's like knee deep. They're not just gonna like take to another sound like that. You know what I'm saying? They, their lifestyle, even the way they speak, everything they do is in a certain speed. Like how they speak to you and it's slow and like, yo, what up? Like, that's why when they rap, that, that speed sounds natural to them. Whereas if an English person tries to rap on a slow song, our cadence almost sounds like it's supposed to be spitting faster. Like, because we don't talk like that. Like, even when I'm talking now, look how fast I'm talking. And when I'm finished, it's done. There's like 15 of us in England that have got like the clarity and who've got it. Just understand what makes them British. Not trying to make America like you. Like, try and make the best film of yourself, like the sickest movie of yourself, like those people are going to prosper. Trust me, it's awesome. I was walking down the road today, people are stopping me like, yo, tonight's going to be mad. Crazy, man. It's starting to feel the same every city that we're going to. Since New York, we've had a couple of days off, man. Relaxed my skins, you get me? I went to the spa this morning. Very spiritual. Trust me. Very spiritual. Steam. You get me? Eucalyptus, all them things there. Water with cucumber at the bottom. Jeez! You see the water, it's got mad five cucumbers sliced up in the bottom of it. Like, you have to know, but apples, very crunchy. I had a good time in that spa, man. Trust me. For the next two years, especially the way the crew is and everybody's headset is, it's a perfect time for Boy Better Know. To next yeah, to do the next steps. Yeah. Since the beginning of this year, there's been some iconic moments. So I think this is another important one. Skepta himself and all of us as individuals have been doing this for years in London. Jamie, all of us. But it's a time where, you know, everybody looks up to US and looks up to artists like Drake and things on the other side of the water. So now that they can see these great musicians aligning themselves with people like Skepta, Boy Better Know, they can understand what we've been doing and why we've been doing it. This is like, see, you don't should have listened. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, should have listened. I had a little moment of madness, innit? But like, it's cool. I was just being silly, man. Like, everyone knows me, man. Like, when I get drunk and I'm with my friends and I'm ha having such a good time, things get. This <laughs> <laughs> is what happened, boy. <laughs> Basically what happened was we came out the place to, to dance, it was sick, man was enjoying ourselves. Man saw bare rubbish on the floor, yeah, he went to put him in the coffin. <laughs> Bang! <laughs> Landed on a big bit of glass, cuz. Crazy, man. What did you wrap around your arm? Um, Frisco had a bandana on his head. <laughs> you know. And I just took it and, he just, bought, and, he, just, and he just bought it that day. And I know like Frisco likes his bandanas. Yeah. As you can see, I got blood in the front of my TNs. This is what it looks like now. It's clean, but it's an open wound, man. Ah! Hey, 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 hey. I'm not He bleeding on the dance floor, blood. And shouts on this tour, the most important fun part. Let's pan around here. Crepes. Trainers. Right. These trainers.
Yo, we're on the way to the fest. I'm super nervous. But I'm nervous because I just want to do it. Like, I hate waiting. I hate waiting for shit. Different people are going to find out about you at different times of your career and think that that's your defining moment. Because that's when they found out about you or heard that you were hot and then that's what you did when you were hot to them. I used to think like back in the day when massive things happened, I'm like, yo, this, this is a defining moment in my career. But then like, Another thing happened. Can we have? Can you have fair different defining moments? Can you? Okay. Yeah. I'll take all that shit back. What I just said. Then. Yeah. It's a fucking defining moment. It's a mad thing. Over your first 2015. I'm not gonna lie, but all them lyrics. More time I drink, saying shit is hard up in the six or all that stuff was just lyrics before. But now being here, like I understand, like what it means, like, when the festival's about to happen, bro, like, the people that, it's crazy out here, fam. Everyone's coming to the show, you get me? Yeah, see? Keep it in my screen, I don't know how they even know what's going on. Life is just changing, fam. I don't know what this shit is, bro. It's just so mad, fam. There's no explanation for it, man. I am feeling good tonight. This thing got me thinking To be here is mad. Drake, he's been co-signing me and saying bits and bobs and saying bits and pieces and just showing love in general, you get me? And just representing my thing, like, so now I'm here, like, it's like, yo, a man's represented me so much, gone so hard for me, like. We're like Wiley and Dizzy, innit? I'm the guy that Drake keeps saying, yo, my man's a mad man, like, he's the guy. So now I'm here for money to just represent him. I feel blessed to be able to be doing it. Like. anxious about this like I'm not scared about a new artist coming through I believe in my talent like if someone else comes through and they're hot I'm still gonna maintain it. I'm still gonna make tunes that mash down raves you know what I'm saying like and I was putting bare pressure on myself before man like on some anxious thing like you just look bare edgy like I don't know like I don't care but at the same time I'm not chasing anything like I'm cool with my laptop and my vocals like people are feeling the waves like every day is getting stronger. People are around the world are finding out about it. Because the spotlight goes, man, I understand all this shit, but it's gonna go into another rapper like soon, isn't it? Like, but the only thing people remember about when a guy has a spotlight is what he did with it. Okay, what did you do like when it was your time? So what, you think you're the best? You against me, that's a disrespect Selling you the top boy, still I ain't heard a better mixtape than blacklisted yet No playlist, no label home Just a couple real niggas and an iPhone Now everybody wanna talk business and I'm like thank you But computer says no, this ain't back in the day Won't catch me with no champagne spray Last night man I got paid in cash Gave half to my mama said put that away Grab two packs and it's back to the ends Meridian walk North London again Boy better know we're getting money online That's why your wife he stays in my DMs Go on then. Yeah. Yo, big up the 412. 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 Big up the 412
the Tottenham crew. Yeah. If there's any time in my life that I've wanted this opportunity, it would have been now. I'm going to step real steady.